Good morning, and here I am on this Sunday morning. I'm in the middle of Grasmere, and we're going to go do one of my favourite walks. It's actually the first walk my good friend Isabella did. So we're heading up that way towards Emmerdale, and I'll join you there. So this is the centre of Grasmere. There's not a lot of people about at the moment, but give them time. So here we are on our second part. We're going, to, uh, going up there to up that road there, which is up uh, past Emmerdale. And I just found out why my film was coming out a bit overexposed. So I've just gone into the manual settings and turned the exposure down. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? So uh, let's carry on. So this is now where our walk officially starts. As we swing round, we've got the centre of Grasmere. That uh, used to be Ash Cottage over there. It's now owned by the 1769 Inn. And uh, you go that way to the, into the centre of Grasmere and up to the Swan. We're going to start this walk here and we're going to stop at the Traveller's Rest. Whether it'll be open or not, I don't know. If it is, we'll have a crafty coffee in there. Now, this is going to seem a bit dark, but don't worry about it. Uh, hold on, see? Oh, I'm not going to ruin it. Anyway, so onward and upward. What a lovely uh, autumn morning this is. Look at that, I've just got to show you this. Zoom in a bit. Well, find the zoom button. There you go. I always find that when I do these films, I always find that I'm trying to rush them for some reason. And sometimes the shots come out absolutely rubbish. Look at the odd shape of that house up there. I think it's a house. It could also be a and b I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, and also, we've got a ghost story as well that's going to be told later when we get uh, further around, around. Oh, actually, two. So uh, we'll carry on in a minute. Anyway, we're heading up there. There's an old cattle grid up there. You don't want to know about cattle grids. Now, this is interesting because we're coming up here. Now, I'm going to be turning right in a minute. Are you just about to make the cap of... The Lion and Lamb, Helm Craig, which I'll tell you a bit about in a minute. But uh, you continue up here, it takes you up to Allen Bank, and then you can cut across the fields, go back into Grasby and places like that. Now, that's just a mound. There's some lovely views from the top of there, but we're not going up there today. Okay, so you're up that way to Allen Bank. We're going to turn right here. I'm going to go this way. Look at this. I love coming up here. And like I said, the problem with me is I try rushing these things. And it doesn't come out that well. So, and I can't be bothered to walk all around and do it again. So, I really don't take me time on this one. And so I can hopefully improve on my filming. There's the mighty Hound Craig. Lion and Lamb, Lady of the uh, Piano. She's got three names. And there you go. So, we'll just, uh, I'll catch you in a bit. As you know, these are just farmer's fields. And uh, there's nothing out today. <clears throat> but you do get a variety of wildlife. You get, wildlife, sorry, farm animals. You can have cows in this field. You can have sheep in this field. And when you come through this field, you've got to remember, you're in their territory. So I will say one thing, keep your bloody dog on a lead, okay? Well, there's a lot of idiots who, I mean, not today, obviously. There's a lot of idiots who just let their dogs run around chasing the sheep and all that. Especially in the springtime, and it's not right, it's nasty. No, that's not a... Big pile of cat litter. That's just where they've graveled the path and all that. Because this used to be really a muddy path and all that. Oh look, a bigger, better picture of Hound Craig there, look. Now up at top of Hound Craig, you've got this big bit of rock called the Helzer. Now that is another 20 foot climb. And only the brave or the stupid try it. And as in any time when you're in the country, in the country, if I can get this uh, gate open. 
as I've said before, close the gate. Anyway, this is turning into more of a rant, so stop it, Tony. Right, anyway, we're going around here now. We're still in Grassmere Village. Still got a long way to go, but what's the rush? Well, here we are, we're halfway around this little track, and I just wanted to show you this. So I wanted to tell you a bit about Allen Bank, which is up there. Now Allen Bank, that's not it up there, that's someone's house. Up there. Looks like they got washing on the line. Good for them. Anyway, Allen Bank was open, uh, I think it was 2012, for the first time in 200 years. And... You won't believe this, it had only been open about a month or so. And uh, there was a fire there that nearly gutted it. Uh, they're still renovating it now. But it looks great, I've been up there once and it does look great. And I will go again, I will do a film thing. My favourite places to go in the Lake District for next summer. And uh, one thing that has surprised me this morning, I'm, I'm always one for saying good morning to other people. I've actually had two people say good morning to me first, which I thought was, and of course I answered them because I'm polite. Well, that's very nice, wasn't it? It's about time. Here we go. It's me again. Now I've got a little funny story here about this gate and I will say that this was my imagination, most of it, but when me and Isabella first come up here the first time, we got to this point and these jets went over. Well, I mean, she's quicker than I am with the camera. She got her camera out and she was filming and taking pictures, whopping great smile on her face, which is, you know, it's brilliant, it made her day, you know. But for some unknown reason, and she wasn't, I will say she was not. Well, how do you open this bloody gate? Here we go. Is it, you put it out of way. For some unknown reason, and I don't know why, and I, and I will say again, no, she wasn't. I had visions of her jumping up and down and clapping her hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, see I had to put that in. Um, there you go, anyway. Onward and upward. And I've, I've still got that vision in my head now, even though she wasn't. I don't know why I thought of that. But there you go. Here we are, this lovely little river here at Gookie Bridge. Now I didn't realise this, I've just done this, that when you're doing the exposure, you can actually do it while you're filming. So if I... Or maybe, oh yeah, it just comes up like that, look. And then you can take it. So you learn something every day, don't you? And this battery's about to fucking die, isn't it? So I better get on. Well, here we are. We're a quarter of the way around our walk. And uh, if you go up there, you've got East Del Tarn. And you go up there and have a better view from there. It'd be phenomenal today. Uh, and also, I think you can get to... Uh, Another fell up there as well. We are going to turn right here. We're going to turn right here because this is where we're going. Okay. There's a lot of people going up the old fells today and I don't blame them. I hope they have a safe walk as well. I was coming down here one day, uh, this is about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, this is about 2000 and, it was 2010, 2011, and that was just a field with all sort of like, you know, usual stuff, and there was this deer in there feeding, and it stood there and let me take a picture, one of the best pictures I'd ever taken while I've been up here, but unfortunately now, someone's inbuilt a house on it, cottages on it, and yes, I know people have got our places to live, but you know, that's, that's just disgusting, I'm sorry. You'll never get that picture again. Thankfully, I've got a copy of it. 
Anyway, here we go. Here's one of our, this is our first of several, or maybe a couple of ghost stories. Me and another young lady from the Czech Republic called Sandra was coming down here one afternoon. And then all of a sudden she started panicking, getting upset. And she goes, I just need to get back to the hotel now. And I said, why? She goes, just get me back to the hotel. And I knew something was wrong. So we stopped messing about, made a hasty retreat to the hotel. We got back, we went back to my room. I managed to calm her down. And uh, I said, right love, what's wrong? What's happened? And she reckons while we were passing this area here, which is again his cottages, she reckons she saw a ghost walk through the wall of the cottages. And I went, really? She goes, yeah, and she was adamant she saw this. Um, she's really scared, so she may have seen something. Who knows? Uh, I mean, I'm on the fence when it comes to stuff like that. But it could be, it could have been anything, you know, it could have been a, sh a light, a trick of the light, a shadow, you just don't know. And uh, to this day, she stood adamant, she saw something walk through the wall. Now we'll have a little stop in a minute. So we've got some magnificent views that I want to show you. And this is what I like coming up here. Look at this. Bit of sun glare there. Done my eyes going up there. Traveller's rest. That's our target. I hope they're open. I'd love to have a coffee outside and just sit there having a coffee before returning to the swan. Because to be quite honest, after the traveller's rest, it's just down a busy road. But just taking that. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, she's adamant she saw that, so. And I've got another ghost story actually involving me, just rent, well, when we get, uh, just before we get to the old traveller's rest, so, uh, or just on the road up towards it anyway, so. Okay. And here we are, coming up to one of the legendary farms in the Lake District. This is owned by Mr. Riley, a really nice guy. Very intelligent bloke. Hold on, it's a car coming. Uh, yeah, lovely guy. Really, I remember coming down here and uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, I was coming up the other way a few years back and uh, he was taking his tractor into that field to the right and <laughs> In my head, all I could hear was, I am a cider drinker. I drink it all of the, well, even making cider. This is what I like um, about this area. Look at the view from here. It's, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Now, we just had a lovely lady take our photograph. She did what I normally do. I say, oh, if you want a photograph, take a blubber. The lovely lady's just uh, taken mine. And uh, so what I'm doing with my other camera is I'm doing a bit of black and white now. I can hear a helicopter somewhere. Now normally what they're doing is they're redoing the paths of the fowls. Um, and the minute I turn this camera off, it's going to bloody come along, isn't it? But yeah, look at that. That's... You know, people moan about Britain in the weather and all that. But we've got some amazing bloody countryside, you know. The Traveller's Rest down there. 
there's the pub. <laughs> and like I say, hopefully we'll get there, it'll be open, we can have a coffee. Uh, anyway, let's go, carry on. Oh, I'm easy, ooh, easy on a Sunday morning. Sorry, couldn't couldn't resist that. <laughs> oh, I'm easy, easy on a Sunday morning. Wanna get high? Stop it, Anthony. The mighty lion and lamb. And you can get up there via East Del Tarn, I think. We go up that way anyway. And here we are. Near that lovely river or to the right. Or stream anyway. One of the things that baffles me right, is, you know, I said good morning to at least 10 people this morning. Eight of them have all replied. I've even had a couple say good morning to me first, which obviously I've replied. The last couple I said to totally bloody ignored me. And I said twice. I said it twice and they just blank blanked me. I thought, you ignorant sods. What is wrong with people? You know, why do people why are people so rude and ignorant these days? Oh well that's their problem. I'm not gonna go on about it because I don't want to stoop to their level. Look at this again. Be some cows in that field over there. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you know, they say Kent's got the Garden of Eng the Garden of England. Nah, the Lake District does. Now we're coming up to my second ghost story, and this one involves me because. One morning I was coming round here at half past eight. Now I'll swing round in a minute because the sun's going to be in the way. Half past eight in the morning I'd got here. Um, and I've, I've come round that bend to the behind me. Can't see it because the sun's in the way. And there's a chap in a blue top stood there. And he was just stood there. He wasn't moving. Didn't even acknowledge me, he just stood there. And for some unknown reason, my alarm bells just were going, get out of there now. Go, 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 move, go, go, go. And I'll tell you what, I was gone within a few seconds. You know, I didn't, it's just like, it's like somebody didn't want me here, you know. Now, it could have been something innocent. A guy could have been checking his phone, he could have been taking his picture, you know. But I think what it was, it's because I wasn't expecting him to be there. But then again, who's the, who knows? We'll never know. You know, it's just one of those things that's never happened before. It's, it's, it didn't happen before then, it's not happened since. So, there you go. That's the second ghost story of the day. And it, it was just weird, it really was. There's not a lot that spooks me out, yeah? Because like I say, I'm skeptical on these things, but that was just, I think it was, also it was early in the morning and I wasn't expecting him to be there, but it was spooky, it really was. Those stones were all washed away during Storm Desmond. They, they're all been put back, obviously. But, you know. I wish I'd bought a flask of tea now, something to sit on. I'd have had a cup of tea here. Well, we're nearly at the end of our walk now, so... Uh, and the battery's about to go, so... <laughs> Onward and upward. I don't know if you can see that. There's actually somebody up there, look. They're probably looking down at me going, Is he filming us without our permission? Tell him to 
off here, yeah, someone up on Helm Craig. I bet the view's phenomenal from up there. And good luck to them. Hope they're having a good day. That's Helm Craig anyway. The lion and lamb. Lady playing the piano. And like I say, there's a big rock at the top of that called the Hilzer, which is another 20 foot climb. But you've got to know what you're doing to climb it. It could be quite dangerous. You won't get me up there. I mean, I want to go up to Hound Craig again to the hills, eh? but that's as far as I go. Then I'll come back. Now, that takes you up to Keswick. This up here goes up to Halvallen, which is, I think, the second highest mountain in England, or the third one, one of them. And this takes us back down to the pub but we've got to get across this busy road so I'm going to stop filming until we do this road's bloody leaving it's nearly out there sometimes you know me I love me waterfalls and I know this is only a small one well this is more of a beck isn't it really than a waterfall Just walked all the way along there. There's a road there somewhere. <laughs> there it is over there. All the way over there. Look, and that takes you back into Grasmere. Oh, we're heading down here today. The travellers, the travellers' rest is only down there. So I was thinking about having a having a coffee, but I've had a big breakfast this morning. So I'll tell you what. I might say what the hell and have half a pint. Well, it's not half a pint, it's not going to work, is it? Not as well, got to go to work. So, yeah, I might just do that. I might have half a pint instead. You know, I don't drink that often. But I think today's walk warrants a nice little celebration. So, we'll join you in the Traveller's Rest. I know at the Traveller's Rest. Oh look, there's a bird of prey up there. Can we get him? No, he's going too fast. This is the Traveller's Rest, and I'm looking over. Hey, that's, I, I'll tell you, I've got to swing around and show you this, because I think this, is, this wasn't here. That's, when me and Izzy did this walk, this bit wasn't here. I think it was a car park. But yeah, they, they did a cracking job here. I won't film the building, because that's a bit rude, so. But yeah, that's pretty. Anyway, I'm going to... Enjoy your point. I'll catch you later. I'll see you back at the Swan. Well, here we are again now on our way back to the Swan. And this is a little message to the Lake District Authority. This is what you get when, one, you've got the car park charges hiked up so high, nobody wants to pay them. You ain't got enough car parks in the area. And you get a pub I won't mention the name, saying, right, can we have another car park? We'll make it nice and big, and also everybody else, apart from the residents, everybody else can use it as well. And they say no. And then you have the audacity to moan about cars parking on the verges. Well, what do you expect? So that's your own bloody fault. That's the powers that be, and jumped up little twats and then got an idea. So, more car parks are needed and know the bloody price of your charges and you won't get all this. That's our Sunday morning rant. Now let's head back to Grasmere. Let's have another look at this beautiful countryside. Look at this. Do you remember those cows in the field I was talking about? I can bloody find them now, there you go. They were sheep, not cows. <laughs> oh well. 
I've got some nice black and white photography to sort out as well, so... Right, as I'm in such a good mood and I'm eating generous, we're going to show you a bit of extra grass me. Now this is a bit of grass me that no one sees, unless they either come up here or they're staying up here, or they have to come up here. So I'm going up this little lane, and it takes you right the way around to the back of the swan. So I'm going to go up here and I'll just show you little bits. It's obviously just houses up here, so and farms and all, so you can't really show you too much. Just a little bit of extra for a bit of fun on a Sunday. Enjoy. And that little pathway goes around to at a close house, Western Cottage's garden cottage. Yeah, so they're all sort of like they must be cottages that people can rent out for the summer and all that. So if we turn around here. Oh look. The nets have arrived for Bromley Moor Dock. Let's get them sent off before the start of the next season. And basically around here, so, like I said, this is a part of grass from here that people don't see unless they've really got to come up here. Or they're going for a walk, like I am. Or they live up here. But it's a lovely little place. Nice and peaceful. Now, Obviously, I can't point my camera at people's houses because that's rude. So here we go. So we've come up. Like I say, like I said before, this is the part of grass from here that people don't normally see. Unless they're staying in one of these lovely places or they live here. Now, I've got a point of interest coming up here in a minute. No, not that. Actually, it might have been that. I've not been up here for a while. There you go, look. It's our new staff block. I will say one thing, the old battery's lasted a while, isn't it? I thought it would have given up the ghost by now. This is the point of interest I want you to see. We're not going to do it today, but if you go up there, it takes you up to Stone Arthur and Alcott Town, it's the Green Hill Gill Track. Yeah, it says Greenhead Gill, yeah, you can get up there. It's up at Stone Arthur basically, and Alcott Town, which we will do. Um, well, we're going to end our walk down here now because we're coming back to the swan and. Uh, we're going to end our walk down now. 
there you go you go in there to the new star block oh, I could have actually gone through there couldn't I but uh, yeah as with all good walks it has to come to an end so here we go to think that used to be the accounts office <laughs> and we're back at the swan so we're now going to go and process all my filming Down here. Remember that wall when that fell down? Shh, should have that, should I? Oh well. Watch where you're walking, Anthony. There, back, back home.